Good day, honors biology students. Welcome to video lecture episode 18. Remember, we're still in chapter 12, section 1. Now we're going to get into the question about DNA structure. Well, after Shargraf, his data became clear, four other scientists joined the search for the structure of DNA. And those four scientists are Rosalind Franklin, a British chemist, Maurice Wilkins, a British physicist, Francis Crick, a British physicist, and James Watson, an American biologist. Now, if you look at slide 49, uh, if you want to know who these are, obviously Rosalind Franklin, she's in the top left corner. Next to her would be Maurice Wilkins. Below Maurice Wilkins, that would be James Watson. And next to James Watson, that would be Francis Crick. Now on slides 50, 51, 52, and 53, I just have some pictures of each of those scientists, starting with Maurice Wilkins, followed by Rosalind Franklin, then I have Francis Crick, and then James Watson. So you can actually see some pictures of these scientists. Um, I believe if memory serves me, James Watson of the four is still alive today. Uh, he's in his 90s. Now let's move to slide 54. These four scientists provided information that was pivotal in answering the question of what is the structure of DNA. Now let's start, let's start off this uh, how they reached that conclusion by let's starting with uh, slide 55 which we talk about x-ray diffraction. Now Maurice Wilkins was actually working at King's College in London, England. All right. There, he was working with a technique called X-ray diffraction. This technique involved aiming X-rays at the DNA molecule. All right. Now, in 1951, Rosalind Franklin joined the staff there. While on staff, she took the photo, which is famous in relation to helping with the structure of DNA, and it's referred to as photo 51. If you look at slide 57 and 58, and I believe 59, I actually have that image on there so you can see what that looks like. Now, as you can see from photo 51, DNA has what we call a double helix structure. Double helix is a twisted ladder shape. DNA structure is formed by two strands of nucleotides twisted around each other. The species on the structure were determined later, or excuse me, the specifics on the structure were determined later by Watson and Crick when they used this data from Franklin and other mathematical data. So let's talk about Watson and Crick and their contribution. When one mentions DNA, it is hard not to think of these two scientists, and that being Francis Crick and James Watson. Watson and Crick were working at Cambridge University in Cambridge when they saw Franklin, Rosalind Franklin's X-ray diffraction picture of number 51. Using Shargraf's data and Franklin's data, Watson and Crick measured the width of the helix as well as the spacing of the bases. From this, they built a model which, conf which conformed to the data, and it can be seen if you look on slide 61. From this model, they proposed the following things. One, two outside strands consisting of alternating deoxyribose and phosphate. Two, cysteine and guanine bases paired to each other by three hydrogen bonds, and third, thymine and adenine base pairs to each other by two hydrogen bonds. Now we're going to conclude our lecture today by looking at slide 63 just so you can see how the base pairs work and just a little bit of that information that I stated briefly. I do hope this lecture has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments below. Reach out, send me an email, send me a message, and I, once again, I do hope it's helpful. Have a nice day. Take care.